I follow four of the stars of Suits on Twitter. Yeah. And in five minutes, I got this direct message from Meghan Markle. A private message, uh, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it said, uh, hey, I'm, I'm a big fan, and I'm you know, so excited you're following me. And this is she about, said to you. Yeah, it was about three years ago. And um, anyway, I replied, and then another guy in Suits, uh, who plays another character, we, he got involved too. And we, we corresponded quite regularly on Twitter, publicly and privately. Yeah. She began sending me early copies of uh, Suits episodes. Right. She'd email me from, you know, places like Rwanda. I thought we had a good sort of friendship building. She then said, I'm coming to London to watch the tennis with Serena Williams, yeah. who's her friend, and I, I know Serena well too. And she said, would you like to meet up for a drink? I said, come to my local pub. You know, I'm an Irishman. Come to my pub. <laughs> um, so she came to my local pub in Kensington, ironically about half a mile from Kensington Palace, yeah, yes. where she now lives. Nobody knew who she was, but she walked in. I remember the locals, right, all these old guys like, like this, drinking their pints, and then walks Meghan Markle like a million dollars. But they didn't know who she was, but they thought she's something Beautiful. special. Yeah, yeah. We had a, two hours in the pub. She had a couple of dirty martinis, had a couple of pints. We got on brilliantly. And then I put her in a cab, and it turned out to be a cab that took her to a party where she met Prince Harry. And then the next night, they had a solo dinner together, and that was the last I ever heard from Meghan Markle. <laughs> <laughs> and I have never heard from her again. So what happened? In she, your, uh, she, she ghosted me, Ryan. <laughs> Meghan Markle ghosted did, me. Did she, do you think she just went... I'm afraid, I, look, I really liked her. This is why it hurts. <laughs> no, I, uh, I really liked her. Uh, yeah. I just think she's a slight social climber, I'm afraid. And when I see the way, I mean, look, at her wedding, there was only one member of her family there. The rest couldn't be risked. It was like, considered yeah. too dangerous. But do you think um, she was told, Morgan, off the list? Well, I can imagine her having dinner with Prince Harry mm -hmm. and saying, oh, I, I know this great English guy, Irish as it turns out. Yeah. I know this great guy, and he's a good friend of mine. I've just been with the, the pub with him. <laughs> What's Harry's his name? like, oh, really? Who's that? It's, it's Piers Morgan. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get him out of here. Black. Pen. Yeah, so that, uh, but I, I didn't really like being ghosted like that. I thought it was a yeah. bit of a strange thing to do. Mm -hmm. And then the other guy, I won't name him, but there's another actor in suits, and he, he did the same. I didn't hear from him either. So he'd been shut down, and then he popped up after the wedding, which he was at. I saw him on TV, and I thought, really? Not a word from either of you. And then he pops up apologising and say, I'm so sorry and hope you understand. Well, I didn't understand yeah. that. Had he been told not to be yes, in touch with been, you? Yes, he'd been told to ghost me as well.